Hey everybody, we're going to take a little look at Bitcoin. Remember, this is not financial advice, it's just me looking at charts and having a good time. And, uh, you know, anything that you do, you do on your own accord. I'm not telling you to do anything, but let's move forward quickly and easily. Bitcoin is going to zero, right? Yeah, probably. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. But either way you look at it, it's dumping, so people are freaking out. Um, I'm still long in my Bitcoin longs. Uh, I closed out of some alt longs that I had, uh, ADA and uh, Link and ETH, but uh, still strong in my Bitcoin long. I'll probably re-enter some other uh, alts as well down the road. So, But let's see here. Um, just marking off some weekly levels real quick and we can take a look at those uh, just some main ones that we want to see here these are the last few weeks in those levels so if we go to the daily quickly and we see um, well something I see here I'm just going to take this one off here no we want that one we'll take this one out because this is very interesting right to that line right to the top of that wick right there and you're going to see something else interesting once I pull pull it up later that's right on that same line but uh, these are areas that when you when you watch it move through you can kind of pick them out so this is kind of our trend line that uh, it's been following and we want to see it continue to follow um, some people I've seen have been showing it being you know of an incredibly steep rising wedge uh, throughout. Could be uh, something like that, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, I like to see this bottom trend line just to kind of give me a gauge of, you know, what what this is looking like. And then I'm going to put another one on here, too. And then maybe even one more. Yeah, let's back it up here. Let's just stick stick to this. So here's the trend line we got. We got a nice bounce in the four. Uh, well, this is daily, but the four hours ridiculous. It was a weird little stop hunt here. You see, looked pretty bullish coming off of here. I was I was super bullish off of this candle. I was uh, I didn't long my longs, but it was uh, I I went to bed thinking, hey, things are gonna look nice. Woke up and I was like, whoa. Uh, I was a little leery with this turnover right here um, uh, in this four-hour candle. Again, just went to bed not thinking much is going on. Huge bounce like in this. Let's see what the volume looks like. Got an hour left in this four-hour, so volume's a little low. Uh, not a huge fan of that. So, But good price action off of really nice levels. Uh, this was that prior try to break the high that came through. So the pattern we see a lot is, let's extend this one out even more just to the other side so we can see where it... Can I not extend it out on this anymore? Yeah. Either way, let's pull it this way. We'll be able to do it this way. So a lot of patterns that you see, you'll see a resistance level, and I believe this is a FIB level too. Uh, as it comes up, it shows a little resistance. We have a quick breakthrough, drop back down. It plays at that level a little bit, drops through it, tries to test it, tries to test it. And you see this nice rising wedge coming up, and then a breakout of this. So we were watching this before. We had the inverse head and shoulders uh, when we talked about it down here. Uh, breaks out. Um, Test it, test it, breaks out, moves up and through, moves up through the uh, previous all-time high. And what I like to see is this retest right there. That's a beautiful retest of that uh, resistance uh, support uh, SR zone. Uh, stayed above the weeklies, the weekly closes. Uh, now we have two weekly closes that we're going to want to get through here. Um, but a lot of times you see this, and then this is the retest. This is the long your longs. Uh, real test point. So when we came through here, I said, okay, we broke it through. I thought we would see a little bit more of a roll over here. 
and then a test, but we had this little breakout here and then down. So uh, I would have gotten faked out definitely up at this point if I was ready to long it even more. But just wasn't it, just wasn't feeling it as much. This this looks good. I really like this here, and um, for a nice retest and a continuation. Volume is a bit on the concerning side, um, but if we can get some continuation, and I would literally like to see this level get broken through. So again, we test fail type of situation. So we can get above the 56. Um, I'm uber uber bullish once we get at the 57 and start retesting the $60,000 range again. That's going to be nice. But looks like a really good reaction here. Uh, I want to pull up the Ichi Cloud on the daily to show you guys. So when you put in for your longs, uh, I texted a, a buddy last night that um, I've got two buys to add to my longs. So I'm long from 47 something, 47, I don't know, in this range here. Uh, with a couple different orders throughout this this bottom zone, uh, but I'm looking for this retest to come through. Uh, you know, I have two orders depending on what this was going to look like. Uh, your uh, conversion and your baseline, or your Tenkin and the Kijun, however you look at it. Uh, 52.5. I texted him last night, and it literally hit 52.5 on the nose. I didn't get the full order filled. Um, a lot of times that doesn't happen. I think I only got like. 30% filled, but it's sitting good. Doesn't mean it can't roll over from here. Uh, this this trend line, being away from this trend line, makes me much more comfortable. So I'd really like to see it kind of break up and out and move forward with this. Um, we're still on track to hit the 70K by the end of March, I think is what I talked about. So it's looking good for the for the um, near term and uh, really like this reaction just want some more volume daily looks pretty good um, I would imagine the next four hour might be a big big volume candle so let's keep our eyes on it and see where it wants to go peace